It is Wednesday and Wednesday is my Medium article upload day. Now, they have already been uploaded and they're ready to go, but today I kind of want to talk about it and plug in the Medium articles, which are different than the videos. I think I take a little more time and become a little more cohesive in what I'm arguing and the way I'm trying to say it to the community. It's also another way for me to really understand what I am trying to do with Feral Publication as kind of building this brand and company. One of the things that I set to do before the new year was kind of launch the Medium articles. And I really felt that instead of launching it right away and being from the hip kind of like I am with the videos to be a little more organized and have a different approach to the medium just because last time it's kind of something that fell in the back burner and I don't want that to occur I want to execute with intention everything I do this year moving forward and so the medium articles I set that month to get it ready so that as soon as the new year started streamlined on time on point and that has been the aim and we'll see how far we can run it because i'm also not gonna beat myself up for doing a million one things and dropping the ball a few times that's okay one of the things that i thought about was really amplifying different zines that i get so instead of doing a lot of zine reviews on the youtube channel uh, doing more zine reviews through medium and really talking about which I made a template for and this is how like Organized I'm trying to get this year where I have a template which basically describes who I believe that zine to be for How would you be able to find that zine and then different aspects of the zine which for me is going to be production uh, The content and then you know the art of it But then I also once again talk about who do I think this is for like if I had to market this zine Who would I market it to? And then on top of that, once again, I want to make these zines something that someone can read this on the Medium article and say, I like this, I want to get a copy, where do I go? So I'm going to try to stick to those kind of zines, but I will also do uh, zine dumps of like an artist that's a zine store that I like a lot. Like uh, someone like Monsieur is a zine making crazy man whose zines I've always liked. It definitely has kind of that lifestyle punk attitude that i've always kind of dug in comics so that's probably one of those instances where i'll make a larger uh medium uh blog article about and show off some of the stuff that he doesn't even print anymore but just to just send people his way because it's a zinster that i think is hella fucking tight another thing that i plan to do on medium as well as the youtube channel is to start talking about different kickstarter projects for comic books that i see that i definitely think need some love and support to see the light of day things that I wholeheartedly want to get behind financially. And if I can't do it financially, get it out by shouting it out on the mountaintop so that everyone can pitch in a buck and we can see that realized in, in real time. And lastly, as you can tell in the Medium article, if you go there, you're gonna see that some of the articles as well deal with just my idea of the comic book industry, about growing my uh, footing in the comic book publishing space, and just kind of the way I see the industry changing and what I hope it will change into, which would be kind of my version of the good new comic book industry, and things that I see that if we adopt and we go that way, that may be problematic in the future for creators, companies, communities, peoples, right, as a whole. And the last thing I want to show folks is that now on my uh, Instagram page, there is a link to the Medium articles, and I love this. But basically now you can listen to it without actually having to read it yourself, which I thought was hella cool because, you know, you can just hit play and just put your phone down and let it tell you the whole story. The Comic Book Shop Doom of 2024. Photo by Eric McLean on Unsplash. For anyone interested in the comic book industry, you may have noticed numerous concerns being raised about the future of comic book retail shops. These concerns come from respected individuals within the industry, signaling potential challenges ahead for comic book shop owners in 2024. Uh, beyond that, you guys, give it a read, give it a listen if you guys get the chance. And if it's not for you, thanks anyways for watching the video and hearing me out. So this time there will be a link in the show notes to the Medium article for you guys to go ahead and peep that out. And beyond that, thanks so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Lights.